What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day using the foods that I meal prepped in my last video. Let's just jump right on into it. I'm making breakfast right now um, and I got a fun little thing that I want to show you guys. So I've been making coffee in this mocha pot espresso maker. Um, it's a stovetop espresso maker. It is so fun. I wanted an espresso maker, but they're so expensive and we don't have that much counter space So I just opted to get this little stovetop espresso. It's not like real espresso, but it's just like really strong coffee It's like kind of like espresso, but it's something it's different because it's the way that like it like pressurizes I don't know then the other day. I just picked up a little handy dandy This is a milk frother and I've been having the most fun ever with my little milk frother. This was only 15 bucks. I can link it down below if you guys want to check it out. It was so much fun. Let me show you what I created. Look at my little cappuccinos. Uh, this is what the milk looks like. It's been sitting here, so it's kind of like bubbly now. But <clears throat> I put in some of my mocha pot coffee, a teaspoon of cocoa powder, and like a little splash of maple syrup. Or I also sometimes use some stevia and you have an instant little soy mocha. Oh yeah, this is soy milk by the way. It gets very frothy. I'm also gonna make a smoothie, so I'll show you guys what I make. Next, I'm gonna make my favorite smoothie that I basically drink every single morning. I don't like to switch up my recipe. First, I'm gonna start off with my kale that I've prepped and washed. And if you guys watch my last meal prep or any of my meal preps, I always do this. I wash off my kale right when I get it and then I stick it in a container like this so that it is ready to go whenever I make a smoothie. I always take off the stems because, I don't know, I just a personal preference. And I like to do like three cups of greens, which might be a lot for some people. Next I'm adding in two tablespoons of raw sunflower seeds. And today I'm all out of flax seeds, but usually I add two tablespoons of ground flax seeds as well. And next I'm adding frozen mango chunks, frozen pineapple tidbits. Lastly, very special important ingredient, a splash of orange juice. It really helps to cut the flavor of the kale. Next I'm just gonna add some water to about like here. And now I'm just gonna blend it up. Don't forget the reusable straw. I picked these up off Amazon. They are metal and it came with a little brush cleaner. So I'll link them down below if you guys want them. I wanted to show you guys some of my vitamins I take. I get this question a lot. Um, what people need to supplement if they're vegan. It really just depends on like what Types of foods you eat every day and like your personal like blood level So if you think you're deficient in something the only way to tell is if you get a blood test I got a blood test and I was deficient in Vitamin D3. I was my level was at like a 19 and you're supposed to be at like a 30 So I've been taking this vegan D3. You can buy it off Amazon again I'll link everything down below B12 even though my levels were fine. Um Vegans tend to be deficient in B12. Actually, a lot of people can be deficient in any of these things because this comes from the sun, obviously. And B12 comes from like microorganisms and like the soil. And I also have been taking vegan EPA and DHA. This is from Dr. Berman's website. And I used to take this during college and it just got too expensive to like keep buying it, but I recently got it again. And it just like comes in a little dropper and you just. <laughs> Also, I thought it would be fun for this video to put all of my intake into Chronometer, which is an app that tracks your micronutrients, not just your macronutrients, as most calorie counting apps do. It's not really for calorie counting, it's more for uh, nutrient tracking. So, I put all of my food intake into Chronometer and it tells me, like, how many milligrams of calcium I had, and I'll do it at the end of this video. Chronometer is a great way to um, see if you're lacking in any areas of your diet. 
vlogging. Oh. Bimas and I are going to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in like a week because I was sick last week. So this is gonna be rough for me. It's always hard once you stop going to the gym to, the gym to like get back into it. I'm like, do you like dread going? It's always hard going to the gym, period. Yeah, period. <laughs> Just in general. But I'll show you guys some of our workout. from the gym I just laid outside for a bit and I've been editing on my laptop and it's time to make some lunch um, everything that I'm gonna be making is from my meal prep uh, slash grocery haul video that I last uploaded so this is my romaine lettuce that I've already prepped and I have some leftover lentils in the instant pot shredded carrots some tomatoes from the farmers market green onion and I'm boiling some potatoes that I got from the farmer's market and so just a word about my prep videos I prep everything so that I can assemble it the day of I don't like to chop up my lettuce so it's just like sitting there and getting soggy I prefer to do it this way where everything is washed and ready to go and I just put it all in a bowl together also we already ate all of the potato slices I showed you and I made these lentils in the instant pot after I filmed that prep video so I'm just gonna throw everything in this bowl <laughs> So it is now dinner time. I really haven't been doing much all day. Don't really like to do my what I eat in a day videos when I have stuff going on. So that's why if it looks like I don't do anything, that's why. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna be making quesadillas. This is has become one of my like easiest like go-to quick recipes. We made this on the mukbang channel and then it's just like inspired me ever since to just keep making it because it's so simple and you can put like whatever you want inside. But I'm gonna be using these Ezekiel sprouted tortilla shells and you can get these at Trader Joe's or Whole Foods in the freezer section I'm gonna use some of the stuff that I showed you guys in my haul and meal prep video right here I have some peppers and onions that's gonna go inside of my quesadilla and I prepped a bunch of peppers and onions in my food processor in my last uh, video I'm gonna be adding some mushrooms to that I'm gonna add some lime juice I need my lime squisher black pepper, which I think this is actually out. This is the leftover pinto beans that I prepped in my instant pot. I added a little bit of this salsa from Trader Joe's. It is dripping all down the side. And I just mashed it up with a fork and I'm gonna spread this on one side and then layer in my mushroom pepper mixture and then just a tiny little sprinkle of cheese. Oh, I wanna add some spinach to that as well. Cover that back up and let that boil down. My face is not looking cute. And I like to grill my tortilla on both sides so that both sides are nice and warm so that my um, vegan cheese can melt better. Oh my God, I spilled on my shirt already. So once it's all roasted, toasted on one side, you get it nice and toasty on the other side. Okay, and these look like they're done, so I'm gonna shut the peppers off. And I'm gonna add just a tiny little sprinkle of this vegan mozzarella cheese from Trader Joe's. It is my favorite because it melts the best. And only add your toppings on half of the tortilla. You really don't need a lot of cheese. It really just is to like hold everything together. And next I'm gonna add in our bean mash that we made. So just spoon that on top. 
lastly, just spoon on the pepper mixture. A tiny little sprinkle of cheese on top. Just to hold it together. Now, this is the part where I always just burn my fingers no matter what I do. So you carefully take the top and flip it over like that. You know what, I'm not even gonna try to flip it. I'm just gonna cover it and hope that the cheese melts. This is where we see if I am really a chef or not. Come on, mister. Oh, yes. I'm a chef. Okay, now I'm gonna just make one more for Kali Wally. Okay, so this is what I'm having for dinner. The bean, cheese, and pepper quesadilla and I made a side of broccoli because I felt like I needed some greens in there. Broccoli, oh, I also got this from the farmer's market in my last haul. Okay, now for a chronometer. I just want to reiterate that I don't use chronometer to track my calories or restrict my calories. I just use chronometer to make sure I'm getting all my vitamins and minerals. Okay, so it says I hit 97% of my targets. And just scrolling down, it says I hit all my vitamins. It says I got too much folate, which I think is kind of silly because folate is naturally high in vegetables and leafy greens. I don't think it's a bad thing to have too much folate. Anyways, scrolling down, I hit all my minerals, got enough calcium, iron, and it says I didn't drink enough water, but that's just because I didn't log it. 77 grams of fiber, got 87 grams of protein. Next, you can click on each vitamin and it will show you what foods had the highest levels of that particular vitamin you're looking at. So that's pretty cute. And yeah, that's all for today. Let me know if you guys want to see more of what I eat in a day videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.